I'm Jackie MacArthur, Steel Timber Sports presenter. I'm here with Brett Hamlin from Interlink Training, one of Australia's top chainsaw trainers. Brett is going to be showing us the basics for operating a chainsaw correctly, but more importantly, safely. Before you even think about starting a chainsaw, you have to be wearing the right personal protective equipment. At Interlink Training, we always wear safety boots with a steel cap to protect your feet and increase stability. Chainsaw chaps or trousers are a must. If the chainsaw accidentally comes into contact with the chaps, the tiny fibres clog the chainsaw to bring it to a complete stop. They can't guarantee 100% protection, but they may prevent a serious injury. I would never use a chainsaw without them. Gloves for hand protection when working with wood and also for comfort. Some even have chainsaw protective material in the rear of the hand for extra safety. Safety glasses. When using a chainsaw, wood chips and dust will be thrown around. You've only got one pair of eyes, so make sure you protect them. Safety helmet. These can protect you in three ways. The earmuffs protect your hearing, the helmet protects your head from falling objects, and the visor protects your face from flying debris. When selecting a chainsaw, it's important to get the right chainsaw for your needs and ability. If it's your first chainsaw, I would recommend a compact chainsaw like the MS-171. It's light, but has plenty of power for cutting firewood and the 14 inch bar will allow you to cut a log twice that size. The latest range of cordless chainsaws from Still are proving to be extremely popular with both professionals and homeowners. With 36 volts of power, they can do everything a petrol saw can do and they're quieter too. Before you start your chainsaw, there are three safety checks you should always make. Number one, is the chain sharp? Number two, is the chain tensioned correctly? And number three, is the chain break in operational condition? Because a sharp chain cuts faster, the chainsaw is easier to control and takes less effort to use, making it safer. A quick way to sharpen the chain is with the still two-in-one sharpener. First, check for the tooth with the most damage. Then mark it so you know where you started. Line up the guides with the saw chain. Apply even pressure on both sides of the file and push from one side to the other. Check the tooth is straight and sharp and then repeat until all are the same size. The two-in-one file sharpens the tooth and files back the depth gauge too. An excellent tool that saves you time. Having the chain tensioned correctly makes cutting faster and safer. The correct tension should allow for the chain to be lifted slightly but then snap back in place. Depending on your steel chainsaw, you will either have a manual tensioner like this, or the still quick chain tensioner that can be adjusted as quick as this. A large percentage of chainsaw injuries are caused by people tripping over branches and logs. Before you start cutting, make sure you clear the area of any trip hazards or debris. For cutting firewood, a sawhorse like this one also saves bending down and reduces the risk of running the chain into the dirt, which will make it blunt. Think of the chain brake as the brakes on your car. By engaging the chain brake, the chain cannot spin. Make sure you always check it before you start your chainsaw. In the forward position, the chain brake is on. Pull it back towards you and the chain brake is off and the chainsaw is ready to cut. Always engage the chain brake when you're not cutting and especially when you're moving around with your chainsaw. The biggest safety feature of the chain brake is its ability to activate automatically during kickback to stop the chain. Here's a chainsaw safety fact. If you keep two hands on the chainsaw and wear leg protection, you are 75% less likely to have an accident. For a firm grip on the chainsaw, the thumbs should always be on the opposite side of the handle to the rest of the fingers. Never on top and definitely never on the same side as the rest of the fingers, always opposing. For the best stability, make sure that your feet are shoulder width apart, knees slightly bent, and your body always offset from the line of the bar. Let's have a look at the distance between our feet. Make sure that we're at least shoulder width and we've got a slight bend in our knees, getting ready for any kinds of pulling or pushback pauses. Never stand directly behind the chainsaw. When you're looking at the bar cutting, you should be looking from the side, never from directly above. So if you can show me now the position of the bar in a kickback situation, it should always be straight over the shoulder, never towards the head and the rest of the body. Never use a chainsaw on a ladder or above shoulder height. That's what arborists are for. Now there are only two ways to start the chainsaw safely. 
The first method is to place the saw on the ground, put your right foot on the rear handle to secure it, and then check that the chain brake is engaged. Then you're ready to pull the start cord. The second method is for advanced operators. Grip with the left hand to ensure security. Check that the chain brake is engaged. Place the rear handle between your legs, then pull the start cord and away you go. Okay, Jackie, so are you ready to start cutting? Yes, Brett, but what speed should I be cutting at? Alright, well the safest way to cut the chainsaw is with the throttle at full revs. If you're not cutting at full revs, the chainsaw can pull you in and push you off balance. The most dangerous part of the bar is the tip. If the tip of the bar comes into contact with the wood, then it may cause a sudden upward and backward movement towards your body, called kickback. The safest part of the bar for cutting is the area closest to the engine. Let the chainsaw pull you towards the wood and apply a slight downwards pressure. The chainsaw will do the rest of the work. Remember to ease off on the pressure as you near the end of the cut. Well done. Good. You've got the rev range just right now. Yes. So the saw is cutting with maximum efficiency. Good. On the next one, I'll just get you to bend your legs a little bit mm -hmm. so that you're looking in a more stable stance. You're already picking up some good skills, but one thing that I'd like to see is the left arm in more of a brace position. So, so with a correct stance, firm grip, and in a brace position for the chainsaw, it means that your left arm should be locked. So rather than in, in a relaxed position where it's, it's bent, yeah, make sure that it's nice and strong. Not necessarily locked out, but in, in a braced lock position. Well done, Zachy. You've done a great job. Thanks, Brett. There are some excellent tips there on how to use a chainsaw safely. For more tips, visit our website or follow us on Facebook or YouTube.